hello. I know this is an odd angle, but I don't have a real tripod, only a camping tripod. That's about four inches tall. And today I wanted to do a quick review of the Bark River Grasso Bolo 3. Um, a very new knife, came out in January 2012. And as you can see, it's a fairly large machete type knife. Fairly thick. Um, I believe it's 0.217 inches thick. On mine I have maroon linen micarta handles. Very nice fit and finish, very good heft. 27 ounces without the sheath. And there's not much on YouTube really showing this knife at all. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing the knife for the people that are interested. Because even the people that wanted to see, um, I think the, hey, you can see this is the Grasso Bolo 3. There's also a Bolo 2, which is not a nine inch blade instead of a 12 inch blade. And then they're gonna be coming out with uh, Bolo 1, which I think is something close to like a six inch blade. And here you have a nice sheath. It's not the Sharpshooter brand like Bark River used to have make their sheaths. This one is Great Lakes Leatherworks. Um, but still, it's an excellent sheath. You know, it rivets double stitching. It has kind of an interesting locking system, too. Um, so you put it. You push the knife in there, then you push this leather, that leather bit down, locks the knife in there, and with the snap, there's no way that the knife's coming out. It's As you can see here with the stitching, when you wear it on your belt, it's not going to be vertical, it's going to be slightly slanted, and this is meant to be worn as a cross draw, which is kind of nice because then you just pop it, gosh, I'm sorry for the awkward angle, pop it, then you just you know, pull out the knife. I have not been able to use this. I went on a camping trip and I could not extend the departure date of my trip. So instead I used a Gerber, a Gerber camp axe, an 18 inch axe, and that served my purposes for the winter camping trip. But I was really bummed that this came the day I left. I don't, you probably can't see this because my camera focus sucks. Here it says first production run. Other side you have the Bark River logo. As you can see, I have started to put a polish with the filt, or however you pronounce it, metal polish. So not quite where I want to be yet, but as you can see, it's going to be pretty, pretty nice looking once I put a couple more layers of polish on it. Um, yeah, this is, I think it's 5160 carbon steel, or gosh, no, it's an, I, I don't remember, 5760, something like that. It's a steel I haven't used at all before. It's a carbon steel, which is perfect for this size blade, a stainless steel blade wood chip. And one thing I noticed that I really like is the difference in the grind. So if you feel the edge here, it's a much steeper grind like if this is your edge it's more like this and farther to back towards the handle it's a shallower grind so here you just feel it it's thinner for doing your detailed work with you can choke up here for doing detailed work with and then up here where you're gonna be chopping has a thicker more robust edge so i thought that was a well thought design um, you can see there it has a pretty good tip. I mean, it's still strong, but if you wanted to use this as a combat blade, I mean, 27 ounces is a little heavy, but you do have a nice good tip, which is also good if you want to do just like some kind of field craft, what you needed a tip of a knife for. Um, what else I want to say? Oh yeah, the balance point, as you can see, is well, it's right about here, about two inches forward of the handle, which gives it a really good forward weight for chopping. This knife is designed to be used with a kind of a snap cut. So you're kind of holding, holding a knife in your first two fingers and you're 
you swing your arm and then you kind of snap your wrist 